that she, she is doing such a good job. Harper's Bazaar, go to bed with me. Vogue's beauty secrets, they never feature normal people's skincare routines. It's always celebrities and influencers that use some very questionable things. But I want to know what a YouTube executive's skincare routine is like, a quote unquote normal person. So meet Lucy. She's absolutely not a normal person. Um, we're not talking about sanity, <laughs> although great minds think alike. Lucy works at YouTube and she's worked at Google and YouTube for years. And I don't actually know if she's an executive at YouTube. I think she is, but I don't know for sure. So let's dig our hands into this evening and morning routine and react to, as well as recreate, a YouTube executive's <laughs> normal person's skincare routine. Hello, Cassandra. Um, good to see you again. I'm kind of excited about this and a little bit nervous because I don't feel myself ever and my voice is going, but I'm going to um, attempt to do my nighttime skincare regime for you. I haven't been this excited for a reaction in such a long time. It's been a really busy day when I have a lot of makeup. This is what I like to use. It's called Yada Green Tea Puree. Whoa! I have never even heard of this brand. And I love that Lucy prefaces that she is a makeup wearer. Not only does she create great Halloween looks, but she's also a hiker. She loves the outdoors. She also travels a ton. So when it comes to her specific routine, I'm thinking about how this is going to work for her skin, how this is going to work for somebody who's constantly traveling, who likes to spend time outdoors and in the sun, for somebody who wears makeup, and for somebody that has Lucy's skin type. Lucy has combination skin, and her main concerns are things like breakouts, which yes, as a adult, fully grown, beautiful women, we still get breakouts. Breakouts don't just go away once you've exited your teenage years. She also struggles with some dark spots and a little bit of pigmentation, and she does have rosacea, which is being diagnosed and treated by a dermatologist. She's looking to swap a few things out, and of course, the main thing here is graceful aging, collagen production, protection. And so as we dive into this, that's what I'm looking for these products to deliver on and to work for. Now this Yada, what the Yada Bada Boo, the Flintstone. I don't know, I've never heard of this brand, but I like the fact that it has green tea in it. Let's take a look at the price and the ingredients to actually see if this is worth it or not. Oh, this Yada product is K Beauty. Lucy! Okay, this is a green tea pure cleansing balm that I've never heard of, but it looks like it has cactus in it. It says it won the Beauty Shortlist Awards of 2020. I wanna know what's in here. The price does not scare me yet, but, oh, but the f is in this product. Apparently it's like a green balm. Visually, this almost looks like the pharmacy cleansing balm. Oh, we have olive oil. Uh, Jennifer Lopez called, she wants her cleansing balm back. Uh, we have ethyl hexyl palmitate. We have some caprylic triglyceride, some polyethylene glycol 20, glycerol triisosterate, try saying that five times fast. Oh, you know what we have to say 10 times in this video? This is an inside joke. We have to say hyaluronic acid a minimum of 12 times. Lucy told me that her husband, Jack, sometimes watches these videos too. And one night he turns to her and he's like, how can one person say hyaluronic acid that many times in a video? So hyaluronic acid is our mission for this video. And we have this wonderful little cat counter here. Actually, screw the cat counter. We're gonna have a penny counter for this one. And um, our penny counter uh, is going to count how many times I can say hyaluronic acid for, for, for you, Jack. This is an inside joke. So the beautiful butterflies who are subscribed get it. And those who aren't subscribed, don't. What I do is I get a bunch, it's like a cleansing balm type of stuff. I put it and rub it in both my hands. And then I just rub it all over my face and neck. I even put it over like my eyes because I don't really have eye makeup remover. So this kind of does the job of that. Um, if ever I'm wearing mascara, I probably use micellar water. I think it's called. Oh my gosh, she is doing such a good job. Do you guys see how she's actually taking the time to emulsify it into her face and she's using it for long enough to, to break down the makeup on her skin? I am so proud. She also tied her hair up in a hair 
hair band so it's not getting all over the place. This is so much better than what the celebrities do. This is so good. The question is, does this product have hyaluronic acid? Because we weren't done looking at the ingredients. I love this for her. In her hands, it doesn't look green, but on the website it does. But this does have green tea powder. It has jojoba seed oil, which is one of my favorites. Now, it does have lemon peel. It does have grapefruit, mandarin orange, orange flower. Oh, these are not bad. They're actually antioxidant rich. They can be good. This probably smells divine. If this works for her, continue using it. I'm so sad because this wouldn't work for me because uh, my skin is a little bit sensitive to citrus. Lucy has specifically told me that she doesn't like things that are too smelly, but she doesn't necessarily have a problem with things. She just wants them like lightly fragranced or not fragranced, right? Overall, this product looks fantastic, but it has this green tea and matcha. And remember, matcha is basically these ground up baby green tea leaves, super high in epigallocatechin 3 gallate. They have polyphenols, they have catechins, and yes, caffeine, one of our favorite antioxidants. And all of these antioxidants are wonderful in a cleanser. I love them when they're left on the skin. But as a cleanser, again, olive oil, not the best of the best, but this is a cleansing oil. You put it on to wash it off. And you know what works really well? I don't, I'm not recommending kitchen oil. I've mentioned it in the past. If you're like on a pinch, you can totally use coconut oil or kitchen oil to cleanse your face. It doesn't feel good, but you could do it. But you get an inexpensive cleansing balm that has things like olive oil, which is a cooking oil, or jojoba oil, as well as some antioxidants and something that smells good and you rub it on your face. She is doing such a good job. And um, I actually really, really like this product based on the looks of it. I gotta go to Korea. You guys, I have to go shopping in Korea. Okay, well, Lucy, I mean, fragrances are usually better if you put them on and wash them off. For people who are more sensitive, it's not like something you're leaving on your skin. So I'm like, this is just me trying to convince myself to purchase what Lucy is using. <laughs> Sometimes I like to use Elemis. Smells nice, makes it feel like a spa. But most of the time, if I'm not really wearing much makeup, I don't normally, I wear Cerafe hydrating cream to foam cleanser, just from the regular Rite Aid. She actually has quite a great array of cleansing balms and cleansers. I would say continue using these. The one that I don't love is the CeraVe. Why? Well, it is gentle. It is dermatologist approved. It doesn't have fragrances. So a lot of people are like, Cassandra, why don't you love CeraVe? Well, for me, it is not cruelty free, which matters, baby. And I've also found that like, it's not bad. It's just not revolutionary. <laughs> We've actually done videos on like the conspiracy behind CeraVe. And listen, if you're using it, if your derm recommends it, if it's what you want to spend money on, and you can afford like $2 to $5, go for it. But are there some other options that I absolutely love? Yes, yes, and yes again. Specifically for Lucy's skin, I want to see if she uses the same basic cleanser from CeraVe in the morning and the evening, but I think I'm going to give her this good molecule. I literally just had this on my desk. This is mine, this is mine, but I will give her her own unopened one. This is the Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. This is so good. I actually think this is what Dr. Mike uses. It is super gentle. It has apple fruit extract and glycerin. It kind of has this hydrating foaminess to it, just the way that the CeraVe does, but it's in a little glass container and it's much prettier and it smells better. It's not like creamy, it's like a gel. I think we're gonna hook Lucy up with this. This isn't a cardinal sin. Uh, do I like what she's doing? Yes. Is it my 10 out of 10? No. But that's why we're gonna make sure that her routine is a 10 out of a 10, just the way she as a human is. Oh, does this have hyaluronic acid? This does not have hyaluronic acid, Jack. <laughs> and then wash this off with like a little puff. <laughs> We're still an eco-friendly queen! Why is this routine so good? What is happening? Get it all off, try and get the makeup off, off of my neck. Okay, so once I'm dry, I then apply serum. I use Lancome Genifique. I've kind of used this for a while as a stuff. I mean, as serums go, this is the only one I've tried and it seems pretty good. So I just kind of continue to use it. Lucy, this, this is the only serum that Lucy has tried. Also note, Lucy skipped using a toner or an essence. Why? Because they're not necessary. You don't need to use a toner or an essence in your routine. If you want to, you absolutely can. And for Lucy having combo skin, I might recommend something like an essence for winter if she wants it as an extra layer of moisturization, or if she wants like a green tea toner for a little bit more of an antioxidant boost that stays on the face. But for a busy, hardworking dog mom lady, yeah, we don't always have time in our routines for toners and essences. 
substances. So this is totally fine that she's going right in with her serum. Now the serum that she's using is the Lancome Genifique. I actually really dislike Lancome for a lot of reasons, but there are some doctors and dermatologists that actually like Lancome, including one of the doctors and derms that I work with. Well, we have differing opinions, but it's okay to both sit at the same dinner table and consume different forms of opinion soup. I'm glad that she likes this, but especially when I look at her combo skin, worried about fine lines, aging, hyperpigmentation, etc. I don't know if this serum is perfect for her. And the fact that she hasn't tried a lot of serums, oh, I think we're gonna have to get her some exciting serums. Um, I just put on like a fair amount in my palms there, rub it together, put it on, put it all down my neck, sort of pat it in a bit. Application, 10 out of 10. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Let's look at the specific ingredients of the Lancome Advanced Genifique. Oh, it's $115, girl. $115. Oh, it is a radiance boosting serum with Bifidus Prebiotic. Uh, Bifidus Prebiotic is actually wonderful. And again, I think that's why the derm that I know really, really loves this. The ingredients in here are not terrible, but in my opinion, they're not worth $115. We do have a high amount of bifida ferment lysate. This is basically a prebiotic, which some research has shown helps to strengthen the skin's microbiome and skin barrier. When you think of prebiotics and probiotics, prebiotics are basically pre or before the probiotic. If you think of your skin or your gut as like a garden, think of your probiotics as like your vegetable seeds, your fruit trees, things like that that are trying to sprout. And think of the prebiotics as things like the fertilizer. So the fertilizer helps the probiotics grow better. And when we're talking about the microbiome of our skin or our gut, literally consuming probiotics orally or putting them on our skin is a great way to do that. Here's a little graphic that you could screenshot if you want more details on prebiotics versus probiotics and the foods that you can get them from. But in this ingredients list, yes, we have some prebiotics. Uh, we have some glycerin, which is good and hydrating, but it's a basic as f And um, guess what else we got in here? Sodium hyaluronate. You know what that is not? It is not hyaluronic acid. But do you know what it is the salt form of? The basically little sister molecule of? Hyaluronic acid. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I said, Jack, I see you. This basically has hyaluronic acid in the form of sodium hyaluronate. Now, why do brands use sodium hyaluronate instead of hyaluronic acid? Uh, the main reason is that it's cheaper, um, but it still holds on to moisture. And in this formula, like it seems like it's okay, but I'm just like, I don't see anything in here that is amazing. We do have adenosine. We do have a yeast extract. These are good. Adenosine is specifically used in emergency medicine for some people who have heart issues. However, in in the skincare world, it actually helps with fine lines and wrinkles. It's shown to be plumping and anti-aging. So while I like those, I don't like them in this $115 fragranced serum. And again, some derms and doctors and people will disagree with me on this, and that is why I'm gonna eat my own <laughs> opinion soup, but we are going to get Lucy a little something else instead. Knowing that Lucy cares about fine lines, wrinkles, and a little bit of pigmentation and is breakout prone, a what? The retinoids! Retinoids are the way to go! This one is from Shawnee Darden. This also won an Allure Award, whatever. I don't care about what's on the front. I care about what's on the back and in the product, baby. This is the Retinol Reform, and Shawnee Darden is a phenomenal esthetician, and I have been testing and trying this on my body breakouts because, girl, my shoulders are breaking out like nobody's business, but this is an excellent retinol product if you're looking for something that is gentle but effective. This has water and glycerin just the same way that the Lancome one does, so they're both nice and hydrating. But the Lancome one has like this bifida ferment. This one has lactobacillus ferment and plankton extract. And this is way f better in my opinion. What's the difference between lactobacillus and bifida bacteria? Well, bifida bacteria is actually found in your mouth, fun fact. But basically these are different types of bacteria. Both are prebiotics. But the plankton extract in here is what really gets me excited because of the antioxidant benefits, because of the way this can help build back skin cells, because of the way this can penetrate into and support the skin, especially the skin that is stressed from travel or time in the sun, or, you know, the basic process of our telomeres shortening as we go through aging. This also has rice bran and camellia extracts, which are super hydrating, but it does not have hyaluronic acid or sodium hyaluronate, but it does have retinol in it. And although it's not the cheapest of the cheap, it is way less expensive than the Lancome one. And specifically for Lucy's skin type, for her concerns, I think she's going to love this. I think this one is going to be a slam dunk and I cannot wait for her to swap this out. And um, 
when this gets to her doorstep and onto her bathroom countertop and then her face. You know when you like don't want to say, I know I'm right, but you know you're like right about this. Someone gave me beauty counter moisturizer, sleep, a recovery sleeping cream, it says. So I've been using that a little bit. And just put a little bit in there. Put that on. I love the applicator, the, the the dispenser, that's the word I was looking for, of this, but is the beauty counter any good? You guys, is beauty counter an MLM or nah? Is it an MLM or is that cult beauty? Wait, no, cult beauty is the retailer that is not a cult and I think beauty counter is the cult, which is the MLM. You know, can somebody help me fact check this? <laughs> this one specifically looks to be bioactive, so it would work with the skin and it says that it helps to stimulate collagen. I actually really like the way this cream is looking. This does have Argerlene as well, similar to what her Lancome one did, so we're not missing out uh, on anything if she takes the Lancome out of her routine. This is fragrance free too. I actually, yeah, I am really into this. I like it. I like it a lot. I think she could keep using this. It would also go well with this new serum. If she really wanted to, especially for her combo skin, one that I would recommend that is less expensive if you want a budget version is this one from Ula Henriksen. This one is the Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. This has vegan collagen, basically vegan peptides. This has mango seed butter instead of shea butter, but they feel very similar on the skin. And this has ceramides, which her product does not. Ceramides are fantastic. Our skin has them naturally. And as we grow in age, our skin loses them. So Providing ceramides to the skin can be nourishing, hydrating, it can actually plump up the skin. So for people with fine lines and wrinkles, and if your skin just kind of feels delicate like tissue paper, ceramides can absolutely help. Now this also has a shit ton of peptides, not just one peptide, uh, but we have acetylhexapeptide 8, which is our argireline, wonderful for anti-aging. We have our octopeptide 3, our acetyl tetrapeptide 2. We have our acetyl dipeptide 1. We have palmitol tripeptide 1 and palmitol tetrapeptide 7. I, I think Jack is gonna have a new word that gets on his nerves because yes, while there is hyaluronic acid in here, um, maybe we just have to say tetrahexadecal ascorbic tetrapeptide 5,000 times and see if that gets on his nerves next. I absolutely can't wait for her to try this. It is lightly fragranced, but it is not bad. I don't think this would irritate her skin. And especially for her skin type, I feel like this is going to be perfect for her needs. Depending on how like oily I am, I use the, the beauty counter, but sometimes I also use a L'Oreal Revitalift. I'm getting old, I'm thinking it seems like wrinkles, so I might as well try that. Oh my gosh, I have not seen this one in years. This product has been around the block, uh, like Jenny from the block, even though she uses olive oil in her skincare now, apparently, or so she would like us to believe. Um, aging is a privilege, and um, being able to afford this product is a privilege, because it's 21 bucks, and for what it is, hey, if this works for Lucy's skin, I'm happy. I know a lot of people have said, like, this is a powerful moisturizer, and it is good, but it's not cruelty-free, so, you know, it doesn't really get my coin, it doesn't get my money but this one does. This one, I really think that she's gonna love this one. The L'Oreal is cheaper. If you wanna keep using that, Lucy, go for it, you silly goosey. But um, this one is where, this is literally in my routine. So this is the one that I would recommend. Once every two weeks, I try your uh, most hated products, the, uh, the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial just to try and kind of brighten things up a bit, get rid of the dead skin. She is such a skin intellectual. Oh my God, she knows that I have a vengeance for Drunk Elephant. I will say, out of the Drunk Elephant products, the Baby Sakura Facial, it's half decent, okay? It is expensive for what it is. And um, if she uses it and doesn't mind that the founder of Drunk Elephant literally said that rosacea, the skin condition that Lucy openly has told us that she has, uh, is the patient's fault because they didn't use 100% Drunk Elephant products. If that doesn't get on your nerves the way it does mine, continue to use, always finish your products, continue to purchase and support. However, if we want a nice exfoliating, skin plumping, anti-aging, revitalizing, maybe anti-hyperpigmenting face mask treatment. I'm uh, I'm gonna put you out of something new, my Lucy silly goosey. Oh! <laughs> Good thing for Lucy, we've actually done both a video and a literal entire blog post on my favorite dupes for Drunk Elephant products. And while it's not an exact match, the Biosense Glycolic is 
amazing. Their ingredients are top notch. They're actually made in Berkeley, California. They came from a biochemistry lab and the biochem lab was like, hey, we found a way to make squalane from sugarcane. We need to make a skincare line that is based on this as a wonderful hydrating, nourishing antioxidant and rebuild it for the skin. So that's what they did. Biosance can be a little bit pricey, but it is great. And um, if you're looking for an option from the drunk elephant, the pricing is just about the same, but the effects are good, if not better. And not only are both of them exfoliating with nice, gentle AHAs, alpha hydroxy acids, but they both also have sodium hyaluronate, AKA the salt form of hyaluronic acid. Did you see it coming, Jack? I got you. Oh, the last thing I always put on in the nighttime is Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Eye Cream. So then I put that on, just put it on the crow's lines there. My gorgeous, gorgeous girl. I'm glad it feels nice. Um, let's not tug the eyelashes out. Uh, gentle, easy does it. I know that a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, Cassandra, you rub your face so aggressively. I know. I'm like Lucy, I go like this. You should have a delicate, soft touch, but if you're a little aggressive, as long as you're applying the products and it's not hurting, we're in the okay zone. But you know, we're getting a little bit yellow and um, we want to keep it in the green. When it comes to this product, Neutrogena is not cruelty free, but remember what Lucy said, her concerns were fine lines and wrinkles. That's what she cares about with the eye area. She wants to build some collagen. This product will actually do that. And for me, my biggest beef with it is that it's not cruelty free because yes, as a vegan, I have beef with many of these cosmeceutical manufacturing companies. And yes, you know that I believe that eye creams are overpriced moisturizers. If Lucy Goosey wanted to, she could absolutely use, you know, her moisturizer in the eye area. Maybe not this one. I would use the beauty counter one because it's fragrance free. However, if she wants an excellent eye cream that's going to rebuild collagen, she can continue using that or she can use what I'm using. Yes, I am actually using an eye cream in my routine, but I'm not just using it as an eye cream. I use it all over my face. This is from Beauty of Josen. This is so good. Even Dr. Dre recently did a review on this. I got to meet Dr. Dre during the same week that I got to meet Lucy. Dr. Dre in person is just as cutthroat, no bullshit as she is on my Right here, the Revive Eye Cream is so good. This doesn't have retinol, but this has retinaldehyde. So it's even more potent than the Neutrogena stuff, but it's still gentle. This also has antioxidants and this has ceramides. We just spoke about how nourishing those ceramides are, how they can be plumping to the skin. So good. If you have fine lines or wrinkles, this is one of the best eye creams I've ever come across. Again, you can use this all over your face, which is what I personally do. And even if you have Melia, this tends to have ingredients that are more Melia safe. So it doesn't cause those little pearls that kind of ball up under the skin. Now, this is absolutely what I would recommend. It's like $19. Um, I'm obviously not gonna give her my tube because this one's mine, but I will be getting her another tube. Lucy's getting one of these and she's ditching the Neutroginis. Goodbye, Neutrogena. It was nice to see you back in like, you know, 2005. We've moved on. We've moved on. Thank you. I have like, some spots, I don't know if this stuff works, honestly. I feel like it sometimes makes it worse. The Peace Out little pads. These are fantastic. I love the Peace Out acne dots if you actually have acne. Because remember, our beautiful Lucy told us that she has rosacea. You can have different forms of rosacea, such as ocular rosacea, but you can also have pustular rosacea, or basically rosacea that looks like acne, but it's not. The fact that she said, I don't know if this works, pimple patches are amazing if you have acne. But this makes me wonder, is she getting rosacea breakouts and then she's putting these on thinking that it's acne? Lucy Goosey, speak to your doctor or dermatologist and find out if that's actually acne breakouts or not. If they are acne breakouts, I am totally hooking you up with these Zitstika Killer Patches. These are my favorite pimple patches because they have little micro darts. They're basically little skincare pyramids that dive into your skin and dissolve and they help to get rid of pimples overnight. If it's an actual acne pimple, these are going to be phenomenal. However, if this is a rosacea flare, I want to know what your dermatologist has recommended, if it is something with azelaic acid or not. And perhaps I could recommend like a Paula's Choice azelaic acid booster, or there's also the Dr. Sam Bunting. So freaking good, the neutralizing gel, which is good for acne and rosacea. That is probably what I would recommend. The neutralizing gel, phenomenal. But um, I want to know from her derm or doctor, like, is this actual acne or is it rosacea that looks like acne, but is throwing us all for a loop? Because the pimple patches that she's using, some of my favorites. And if they're not working, I don't think it's the product. I think something else might be going on here. Oh, and I got this for Christmas in a little pack. That's like a little sleeping lip mask. You know, I slather it on, hoping that I don't get wrinkles around my lips. 
but I don't smoke, so I'm hoping that that's all right. We love that Lucy doesn't smoke. So this Laneige lip mask, everyone freaking loves it and is obsessed with it. Hey, if it's working for Lucy Goosey, go for it. The most important thing you can do for lip wrinkles is make sure that you're wearing an SPF protective lip balm during the day. Oh, there's actually one that I've been wanting to get my hands on. It hasn't come out yet, but I got a sneak peek of it. I don't have it. I haven't tried it, but I want to. It's from Be Minimalist. Where is it? Where is it? Here, this brand right here. They're from India, but they're available all over now. They are launching an SPF lip balm that also has ceramides. I cannot wait to get my hands on this. That is what I would recommend to her. We've done other videos on the best lip products. Let me see what I've got for Lucy. I think I would recommend maybe like the Elta MD lip balm for daytime use. That's a really good one because it has SPF in it. Uh, oh, or the Coco kind if she likes a little bit of a tint. And then for the evening, instead of the Laneige, which is expensive but works well, my dear Dr. Dre was the one who got me onto the Pacifica lip sleeping mask. I literally literally just got that. The Pacifica Lip Sleeping Mask is so good. And um, guess what it has in here? It's got shea butter, it's got jojoba, nice nourishing, and it's got hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid that pulls moisture into the lips. It actually plumps them up. It's a glycosaminoglycan. Say that five times fast, Jack. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's my night time. Uh, let me know what you think and what you think I should be adding or taking away. But, you know, I'm all right on the wrinkles, but I got some brown spots and I'm definitely break out a little bit every now and again, like I said, rosacea. But I'll send you my morning routine, which is a little bit more extensive than my nighttime. So that's all I got for you. Okay, chat later. Lucy and I are opposites because my night routine gets intense and then my morning routine is like, you gotta get out the door, you're running late, you burnt your f***ing bagel in the microwave, and your phone didn't charge overnight because the cat chewed on the cable. Swear to God, my mornings are psychotic. But let's see what's in Lucy's morning routine. Lucy, you better be wearing a sunscreen. Good morning. Um, I'm feeling definitely better this morning after a proper night's sleep, but my voice is still shot, so that's annoying. Fun fact, my voice sounds like this in the morning as well. Do you guys know why this happens? Fun fact, I can actually tell that Lucy is most likely somebody who breathes with her mouth open at night. And the reason why is because often when we sleep, if we breathe with our mouth open or if you snore, it actually dries out the vocal cords. And it's not until your vocal cords wake up, basically they get moistened by us talking. Or if we drink water or gargle water, that's what helps our voice come back to normal. So fun fact, if you didn't know, now you know. Lucy, do you sleep with your mouth open? Jack, does she snore? Tell me. As someone who sleeps with my mouth open but doesn't snore, I wake up and my voice sounds like I just tried to chew on gravel. Yeah, there's the science behind it, kids. I'm gonna show you my daytime routine now, so this will be fun. So I just got out of the shower. I normally wash my face in the shower just with the Seraphy. That's what I do in the morning. And then Row Fade is the name of the, um, of the stuff that the dermatologist gave me. But what I do first is, with these little samples, I just squeeze some of that, that's almost finished, and I just put that on my cheeks where I would get some of the redness. Oh my God, I love to see it. Row fade, row fade. How did, we were talking in person about this and she was racking her brain to try to remember the prescription. I love that her derm recommends this and because her derm recommends it, of course we're sticking with it and we are going to build the rest of her routine around this prescription. I also just have to say, did you see what she did? She took out the f***ing samples. I love it! Prescriptions, especially brand name prescriptions, can be so expensive. Ask your f***ing dermatologist for the samples. Often you get a really good amount and like, just tell the derm like, load me up, babes. The samples are where it's at. I'm so happy to see this. This Rofade is actually an interesting choice for rosacea. It's really good. It's oxymetazoline, which essentially helps to constrict blood flow. This is normally used for things like rhinorrhea, uh, basically a runny nose. A lot of people spray it in there, but as a vasoconstrictor, it causes what? Vasoconstriction. Vaso relating to vein or blood vessel and constricted constriction. So when we think about rosacea, it has this erythematous look, basically this redness, erythema, basically means this redness in skin. And for people with rosacea, that can be really frustrating 
frustrating. So if we constrict blood flow, it can help with that redness that is normally seen alongside rosacea. If her doctor has prescribed and approved this, absolutely use it and continue. I would be interested to know why the dermatologist doesn't have her on something like azelaic acid. Uh, there are prescription azelaic acids or some over the counter. These could work well uh, in combination. Again, speak to your doctor about it because just a topical vasoconstrictor, yes, it'll help with the redness and the flushing, but what about those pustular areas of rosacea? Or if you do have ocular rosacea, you know, is that something that would be the most effective? So I would ask about azelaic acid. I still think Dr. Sam's neutralizing gel is wonderful. This has azelaic acid as well as salicylic acid. So if you have acne and rosacea, it's really good. I'd say use this Dr. Sam's one as a spot treatment, whereas this medication, use it if your doctor recommends it, but ask, you know, why this one as opposed to some of the others that are out there. The main differences between oxymetazoline and azelaic acid is that this oxymetazoline mainly works on the color by constricting those blood vessels, whereas the azelaic acid actually works on some of those kind of blemishes, those pustules. So a good combination works, but again, I am not your doctor, a dermatologist. I am not a dermatologist. You speak to the doctors and the derms about that one. Like I said, this stuff is like $400 when I went to try and get one at the chemist. My insurance didn't cover it. So I have to beg the dam for some every time I go. Literally the best advice. Please, please, please do it. And you know what, Lucy? Give me a second. <laughs> This stuff is so good. It comes from the UK, so um, might have to send you two boxes, Lucy, because this is gonna take a while to get from you. The prescriptions are expensive. And the great thing about rosacea is that there are a lot of good over-the-counter options that, again, not the same as prescription, but over-the-counter can work and help mitigate rosacea very well. Now, if you have ocular rosacea, like if it's actually impacting your vision, definitely always, always, always see a derm. Get a diagnosis to make sure it is actually rosacea, but this is one of the best that you can get. I'm gonna hook you up with this, Lucy Goosey. And um, Paula's Choice also has an azelaic acid product that I always recommend. The reason I'm recommending this over the Paula's Choice one, Paula's Choice one, the little green leprechaun, it's great, but for acne plus rosacea, this is brilliant. It's made by a cosmetic derm doctor, Sam, in the UK. She also has a YouTube channel, and this is made for people with rosacea and acne, and specifically for women who are growing and wanting to embrace their skin. That's why I love this. Whereas the Paula's Choice one, it's my favorite for like all around good skin support. Um, any leftovers around? Throw that one out. Don't just throw it out, Lucy. No, 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 no. Cut open the end of the tube and you can get like two extra uses out of it. Oh, trust me, I am your budget beauty. Yeah. Cut the end and scoop. Go back to my trusty Longcom Genifique Serum. I also use PCA Skincare. This is the C&E Advanced. I basically put like a pea size amount in my palms. That stuff's almost gone. Oh, that's expensive. And then I add a bit of the serum to it as well. I kind of mix them around a bit so they kind of meld together. This is such an advanced move. She is skincare layering. She is mix, not even layering, she is mixing. Um, back to this Lancome Genifique, I don't love it. This I love for night. You could use the Shawnee Darden during the day if you want to, but because she mentioned hyperpigmentation, a little bit of those dark spots. I'm getting her on the minimalist. Inexpensive, really good. This is the Alpha Arbutin 2% face serum. This also has ferulic acid and hyaluronic acid, baby. This is great. It is moisturizing. I think she's going to love this a little bit more than this Lancome and it's much less expensive. And when it comes to mixing this in with the CNE one, the CE one that she has is really, really good. It is really expensive. We actually use it in clinic though. And they actually have quite a few products that we use for like post microneedling treatments. There's a um, secret by Qterra, which is like the only microneedling I really recommend. And it's microneedling along with other therapies, but essentially post procedure, you need to make Make sure that your skin is protected and a lot of the pca skin is what we use oh my gosh i knew i had it right here this is what we use on post procedure it is different than what lucy is using but this is the hyaluronic acid serum <laughs> this is so 
good. I think it does have beeswax, so I don't use it on my skin, but doctors and derms recommend it. PCA skin is really expensive. The CE that she's using, is it good? Yes. If you like it, continue using it. If you want a budget version, I know the True Skin has a vitamin C and E combination that is very inexpensive. It's a little bit better for oily prone skin though. That is one that I would recommend. While that one is good and keep using it, I would recommend mixing it in with this instead and seeing how you like this. I think this is gonna be a lot better than the Lancome one. Again, if you wanted to use a retinoid during the day, you absolutely could, but I feel like you should keep this for nighttime use. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, put the rest on my neck, and then I work that in. I don't put that on my eyes. And do you see what a great job she's doing? She emulsifies things in her hands. She puts them literally all over her face and her neck and her chest. This just makes me so happy to see. Why is this so much better than all the celebrities? Unless she doesn't use a sunscreen. Lucy's routine is like a 10, but if she doesn't use a sunscreen, then it's like negative 38. So let's see how this plays out. And then I go back to my trusty Neutrogena retinol eye cream that probably does nothing. That makes me feel better about my life. I love it! Listen, if it makes you feel better about your life, that's a great reason to use it. Again, we're hooking her up with the beauty of Josen. I think this is gonna be 10 times better for her. This is also great during the day because this does have antioxidants in it, which are wonderful. But again, when it comes to applying your eye cream, not only do we wanna be gentle, but I forgot to touch on this in the night routine, you wanna know where in your routine you are placing this. She and everybody else should be putting their eye cream on literally before their serum or during the same step as the serum, not after the moisturizer. And the reason why is because you think about it, if we have like a heavy, occlusive, thick moisturizer and then we put an eye cream on that's kind of a lightweight texture, it can't penetrate. So we wanna make sure that we're putting on our eye cream like literally right after cleansing, like in our toning or serum treatment, and then the moisturizer goes on and that moisturizer is what locks it all in. So she's getting this. It's gonna be an upgrade from the Neutrogena, I suspect. We're leveling up this routine. We are leveling up the collagen. We are gonna stimulate your beautiful fibroblasts, which fun fact, the fibroblasts are the specific cells inside of the skin that create collagen, which is the strong stuff, elastin, think of like an elastic rubber band, the stretchy stuff, and hyaluronic acid, baby! <laughs> yeah, that's what they do, honey boo boo. Put that where my crow's feet are, rub it in all over. I put a bit in the middle, trying to help my lines there. Look at what a smart skin delectable she is. She's literally putting it in between on these 11 lines, this glabellar complex. Absolutely wonderful. You could also take it here, nasal labial folds, AKA marionette lines. You could literally put it all over the face, which is how I use this. Lucy is a skin intellectual. Lucy, Lucy Goosey. Kind of let it all sink in a little bit. I go Elsa MD. Um, the uh, one for rosacea and hyperpigmentation is the one I go for. So I put a big old lot in my hand, rub it in a bit, and then I rub that everywhere. I oh my God! I am so proud! Not only is she using Elta MD, but she uses enough of it! Oh my God! And she's using a sunscreen that's literally made for her rosacea prone skin and for hyperpigmentation. Oh my God! I am such a proud acne big sister. I could be her mom. I'm definitely five times older than Lucy. Um, if you don't think so, then that means that my facelift and Botox is working. Hey! Oh my God! I can't believe she uses Elta MD. I'm just so proud. This is the UV Clear. This is what I use for acne prone skin. It is wonderful for her. I love that she loves it. And as somebody who does wear foundation, I wonder if she's ever used the UV Clear Tinted. I wanna get her on the Tinted and see how she likes that one. And her sunscreen is perfect. Continue using this. But um, you know that we need to reward good behavior. And because she's using her sunscreen, I'ma hook her up with some other sunscreens. Uh, Lucy, I'ma get you some new Elta MDs. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pick the right ones for you. 
and we're just gonna send this your way, honey boo boo. I might also want you to try the Beauty of Josen. This one is not made for rosacea prone skin, but it is really good. And um, if you like it, then you know, you can buy more of it and it's less expensive than the Elta MD ones. I love that she's using this and full transparency. Elta MD has been sold in some of the derm clinics and by some of the derms that I've worked with. This is a wonderful brand. From my knowledge and what I've been told 10 times and back, it is cruelty free. A lot of their things are vegan. I believe they're all vegan and they are skin cancer foundation certified. Yes, they are a little bit expensive. I totally think they're worth it. But again, if you're really, really, really on a budget, K-Beauty has some amazing, amazing sunscreens. And the sun is one of the biggest triggers for both rosacea and for hyperpigmentation. So the fact that she is using a sunscreen, I am just, I am so proud. While this sunscreen is amazing, it does not have acetylhexapeptide 8 the way that this does. So she could use this during the day, but I'd say just use this at the night and then use this as your moisturizer during the day. But even though this doesn't have acetylhexapeptide 8, it does have sodium hyaluronate, which is the salt sister form of a hyaluronic acid. That's right, Jack. What is our penny counter at? What is our penny? I don't even want to know. What I do want to know is how these products work for you, Lucy. I cannot wait to get these into your hands. I cannot wait to see you in person again and hug you. And again, you guys, I don't even know if Lucy is a YouTube executive, but as far as we are concerned, she is. And um, as she globe trots around the globe on her aeroplanes, as she goes for her hikes, she is going to be protected. She is going to be hydrated. And um, all of these, you know, she could like decant and put them in little travel friendly containers and these would actually work on planes that she could take with her. I would just swap out a much more thick moisturizer if she is traveling on a plane because planes uh, have like less than 10% humidity. And I know this because I was that that brought a barometer onto a plane to track the humidity as I did my skincare routine. There is a video of me testing the humidity levels on a plane. It was an embarrassment and I would do it all over again. 10 out of 10, excellent. Just the way this routine is a 10 out of 10. I don't understand how Lucy is such a skin intellectual. Her routine is so much better than half of these celebrities that forget their sunscreen or like don't even know what they're doing. Lucy listens to her dermatologist. She uses some good cruelty-free brands. Oh my God, and we have a couple of swaps for her because you know this Neutrogena eye cream atrocity is what it is. But I am so f proud. I am a proud skin intellectual. <laughs> my skincare regime. So help me out, please. That would be awesome. I'm really excited. Um, I'll send it over now. Thanks. Lucy doesn't really need her help. Her routine is really good. And the things that we're swapping, they're more like tweaks than complete overhauls. Um, it looks like she's not using any tools. So Lucy, I'm gonna hook you up with some of my favorites. We're gonna talk about some collagen induction therapy with some red light if you want it for your fancy nights. I'm gonna give Jack some stuff. We're gonna just add some extras, some body care. Oh, body care, baby. We're just... We are hooking Lucy up today because Lucy deserves it. I am so excited that Lucy was willing to share her routine with us. I literally cannot wait to hear how some of these things work. When swapping them, Lucy, try to make sure that we're swapping things out one at a time. So just in case one of them happens to flare rosacea or fix your face, you know which one it is. So um, it might take Lucy, you know, a couple months to get through these things. I would say add them in about a week at a time, two to three weeks if you wanna be ideal, one week if you just can't wait, and um, four to six weeks if you wanna be conservative with how you're adding things in. Because remember, like a scientist, we isolate our variables so that when we receive a change at the outcome, we know which variable led to it. So my beautiful honey bunches of oats, I hope that you are staying hydrated both orally and topically, preferably uh, with, you know, probiotics, which you now know all about pre and probiotics for the gut and for the skin. I hope that you remember to reapply your SPF just the way Lucy does by using a big old glob and applying all of it. And I want you to remember to be beautiful both inside and out. Penny, the doggy hyaluronic acid counter, agrees. And if there's one thing I know, it's that dogs are never wrong. So um, listen to Penny, okay? Okay. Love you. Bye.